Rapids. And um, me and my dad were very impressed. We still knew our way around. We went to the Blue Cow Cafe, which we went to last time. Is that what it's called? It was awesome. And I'm so excited to be back. Um, and this was the first place where I tried out this whole find your voice performance, is what I call it, um, two years back. And so it's really cool to have started it here and gone out to all these other places and done it. And now we're right back in the same place where I started this whole thing. So um, basically, we've been over a lot of this, but. My name is Haley Reardon, and I'm a singer-songwriter from a little town outside of Boston, Massachusetts. And I grew up a very, very quiet kid, and was always kind of quiet and insecure, and just thought, hey, I'll be one of those people who doesn't speak up much. And I was nice and friendly, but thought I'd leave the talking to everybody else. Um, and then I got to the fifth grade, and the summer coming out of that, going into sixth grade, I was sitting around the house and was really bored, and there was a guitar in the room, and I decided that I was going to pick it up and learn to play. And all of a sudden, the first thing that I felt like I should do was start writing. And I unleashed this voice and spent that whole summer writing as many songs as I possibly could and kind of making up for all the things that I was always too scared to say. And all of a sudden, it went so much greater than music, I felt like I could speak up about anything, whether it be through a song or in real life. And um, so I'm just going to jump right in and play all the songs that I wrote back then. But then we'll, then we'll get into the rest of the story. But this is called Dream It For A While. here two years ago. Why did you uh, want to invite her back this year? We've always wanted to have Haley back. She did such an amazing job with our kids when she was here last. Actually, her father, Pete, contacted me some midwinter and said they were able to, um, they were looking into getting flights up here and were we interested and yes, we were. And we emailed back and forth and then sometime in March, she was able to get a good deal on the flights. It's her spring break, so we made it work. And how did the kids respond this morning after her first show? They are so excited. They were so wonderful. They were attentive, they were respectful, and when they found out how easy she is to talk to, they just clamored all over her. They loved it. Anything else you want to add? I'm really, oh, I'd like to say thank you to the Macosta County United Way for helping support this through a mini grant and our PTO for the same. Uh, we created this 20 page diary that has the stories and the pictures and lyrics behind every song, and so I'm going to read you what I wrote about this song because it's the only way I know how to explain it, so this is called Trad. I know what it's like to want something different than everyone else around me. And I feel like the more you find yourself, the less of you they understand. I wrote this song about learning for myself that all we need to be is what makes us feel alive. And eventually we'll find our tribe. A group of people who understand and don't want for us to be anything but ourselves. So many times I think all I needed to hear is to let it go, little girl. Let go of the ones who don't understand and hold out for the ones who do. Don't lose yourself in the search because your tribe is waiting. And once you find them, you'll know what it means to belong. This is tribe. Got your tribe then. Yeah. What's your 
favorite part of performing at middle schools like this? My favorite part of performing at middle schools, um, well, I mean, where I come from, there's a really strong folk scene, and so I kind of came up playing in coffee houses, um, but there's no kids at coffee houses, so this is a cool opportunity to be in front of my peers in general. But it's also, there's just a different energy. It's, um, it's, you don't just have one group of kids, you have this whole, you have all of them, and there's something really cool there because there's a different, there's somewhere to connect with every person in the room in a different way. Um, mm -hmm. I just really like the energy of being in the school, so yeah. Um, with your Finding Your Voice tour, why do you think that's such an important concept for uh, middle school, high school students to understand? Because I think all of the issues that, I mean, a lot of the issues that affect young people could be solved if we all had more confidence in our voices. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like that's kind of one of the key things about growing up is being afraid to say what you want to say and figuring out what you, what's important to you. Um, and I didn't really realize that until I kind of went through that process myself of finding my voice, but it kind of spills over into, into so many different things and it's just important in so many ways. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you've done a lot in the last three years since you started working with the Pacer Group, just with you know releasing your album and being named Bostonian of the Year. But what are you most proud of personally? Um, I'm proud of I'm proud of this work. I'm proud of um, the relationships that I've made. The fact that when I was starting out, the people I would meet would be other musicians. But by getting into this, um, I've been able to meet amazing, amazing people who are teachers and principals and work at churches and all these different things. Um, and so the community of people that I've built way outside of my community is is something that I'm proud of and that I'm so thankful for. Um, so I guess that the people that's introduced me to.